Employees are the voice of your brand, and the ability to deliver on your brand promise lies in their hands. Engaged employees create real relationships between your brand and your best customers. We help you recognize and reward your employees and make business more personal. Employee engagement can be difficult, time consuming, and expensive to build. But even with all that investment, it can be a very fragile thing. And when the red ink starts to flow, engagement programs often take a back seat. At a recent roundtable discussion with senior business leaders, we looked at how programs can be built to survive difficult times. While employee engagement is considered critical, other imperatives can often take precedent, particularly during tough times. So how do you ensure engagement is top of mind? It's all in how you approach the program, the tangibles, and transparencies. Well, I think it depends on <clears throat> how the associate perceives engagement or how we as an organization engage an associate. So if it's tangible activities, the, the town halls, um, trophies and awards and, and, and gifts or trips or, and they're tangible incentives to recognize and drive engagement, then, then, then they do, if you remove those programs, then they see the void. But what, what I heard today had nothing to do with the tangibles. What I heard today was behavior based. So it doesn't matter if times are tough. And, and when the economy went south in, in 2009, it shouldn't have mattered. It, you may have programs that go away, leadership programs, because you can't afford to offer them. But it doesn't change how we treat associates and, and giving them the tools that they need to do their jobs effectively or, or providing them with challenging work or understanding what they need to to, to be engaged every day. You know, I, I think it's really interesting that when we went through the uh, recent recession, um, most companies did what usually happens when there's a recession. They cut employees. They cut costs, and that included cutting employees. And in their, um, there's almost, if you will, a knee-jerk reaction that um, because employee salaries oftentimes represent the largest variable costs that, that a company has, you cut the employee salaries and you then have solved your problem. So when you do these kinds of things, there's a hugely destabilizing effect to an organization. And, and I think that it, it comes back to something Heather said, it's behaviors that really matter. And I look for courageous, transparent leadership from the CEO on down in those situations. The easy thing to do is not always necessarily the best. And there were some organizations where during the recession they chose, for example, to keep all their employees. They froze salaries, they reduced some variable spending in terms of education and other things. Uh, in some instances they actually um, implemented salary reductions and offered offsetting stock options. But what they did was they were creative, they were courageous, they were transparent in terms of speaking to their employees, and through those behaviors, they actually further strengthened the culture of the organizations. One of the things I think we need to recognize is that when we talk about leadership and delivering on programs, we also need to make sure that that, that group has got the time to be able to actually develop employees, to create meaningful relationships with them, to deliver service programs, um, to to step back and look at what needs to be fixed in the organization. In a lot of cases, if you um, if you cut that level, that layer, to such a level where they are simply trying to fight to to survive to to fight another day then I think you, you do start to really erode. So that's a fine balance because you do have to recognize the economic realities, but you also have to realize that the recessions, even if they are run on for quite a while, they will they will turn eventually and you need to be poised mm -hmm. for uh, growth. And, and, a, and a, an organization with a really engaged workforce um, you know, enters that storm of recession and the storm of bad times um, better uh, better equipped to actually weather the storm, and right. and so if you don't have that coming out of the gate, then you're you're dead in the water. But uh, and and organizations that um, that make it a priority uh, are are better equipped to uh, to maintain it through the tough times. 
we need to remind leaders to focus on engagement, to focus on retention. I think people do tend to take their eye off the ball because they're distracted, because there are things going on. Um, so I see it as our role as HR to sort of help remind them of the importance, give them tools, give them tips, um, so that they don't lose sight of, uh, of that very important behavior that they're accountable for during this time of change.